All right, I'm gonna upgrade the two piston um, WR250R caliper to a three piston um, Honda one, but these come with linked brakes and you can tell they're linked because it comes with one, two bleeders and it comes with one, two um, brake hoses. The top brake hose is typically connected to the front master cylinder and the middle, I call this the middle because I'll show you in a second, um, that's linked to the rear brake caliper. So in the Honda, when you apply the rear brake, um, some brake pressure is applied, some um, fluid pressure is applied through here, um, through the, the middle piston, which applies a little bit of front brake. Um, so in this case, because I'm gonna use it as a front caliper without any linked brake system, I need to somehow bring that piston online when the fluid pressure is coming in through um, the top attachment. So to do that, you can do that one of two ways. You can either make a, a double hose that runs from there down to here also, so it applies some pressure to both. That's a bit ugly, it's a bit messy, and, it, and it's obviously gonna cost some more money. So I'm gonna, I've drilled this one out to link the two together. So I'll talk about that process in a second. Why have I gone with that piston? Well, it's a three piston caliper. Um, the WR250 is a two piston. It's got two 27 millimeter pistons. This one increases the piston um, surface area, but also the pad size of the WR250 is that, and the pad size on the Honda caliper is that. So that's gonna increase the braking a little bit, and that's gonna work a lot better with the 310 mil disc. And the 310 mil disc is six millimeters thick. They can street discs are five or six millimeters, whereas the dirt disc is uh, three and a half millimeters. So that means you have to shave the pads a little bit to be able to get them to fit. So this will be a better caliper set up for the motard wheel. Um, I did think about running a four piston um, R6 unit. That's a 27 and 30 mil um, four piston caliper, but the backing on that caliper is way too deep and interferes on the wheel. So I can't use that caliper at all. Um, so instead I'm going to use this three piston, which is basically the same design as the two piston. It's a floating caliper. Um, so that's that. Now, as for drilling, drilling out this, um, this here, what I've seen is some people are, when they drill these, they're drilling in the center and that's fine. But when you go to bleed, um, the brake, the caliper sits, you know, this way up, right? So or any air that's in that piston is gonna sit up in that top edge. And it does have another bleed screw over here, but just to make sure that I've got maximum ability to get the air out of it, um, I've drilled this one up in the top side. Um, how I did that was I um, basically right angle marked up to here, right angle marked up from there to there, and then I dropped the line down into there, marked that hole, and then drilled on that flat surface. Um, the way I did that was, if you look, that bleed screw hole just there, um, that bleed screw hole lines up all the way through, and that's how that bleed screw is linked through the two top and bottom pistons. And this middle piston doesn't go deep enough. So um, essentially what you're doing is you're just drilling through the base of this center piston until it links up with this gallery, which runs between the top and bottom piston. It's not about flow because the fluid volume doesn't change real much when you apply the brakes, it's about pressure. Um, it's a, this gallery through here is somewhere between a two and a half and three mil hole. So I've used a two mil, then a two and a half, then a three mil to gradually step that up to make sure I got it as close to being on center as I could. Um, and hey presto, that is um, drilled through. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but I was off by about half a millimeter. Um, but because I've gone to a three mil um, drill bit and it's a little bit bigger than the gallery is, it's worked out pretty good. So that's that. Um, to get this thing apart, it, it's just literally one chunk of aluminium and bolted to another chunk of aluminium. You just knock the three bolts off the back of that, that comes apart, knock the pistons out, 
knock the seals out. One thing I will say is if you're going to drill right over this side like I did, you've got to be really careful that you don't nick or score the bore of the piston. Um, I managed to do mine in the bench drill. Um, just tried to find the flattest surface and then put it in the bent in the drill clamp with a bit of timber underneath it. Um, because of the depth of that and the shortness of those tiny little bits, I had to put the bit in the in the um, in the bore and then bring it up to the drill bit uh, to the drill chuck, tighten the drill chuck on the drill. Um, so just a lot of care, a lot of patience. Just take your time and um, there you go and with that being at the top there you can see that other bleed hole is up in the up in the top of that and that bleed that hole there into that gallery that should try and minimize the amount of air bubbles that can get caught in the top part in the top portion of this of this piston so there you go it's not terribly difficult it's taken me a little while to get around to doing it but um yeah it's done the job um so now what i'll do is i'll just blank off this and i'll blank off that and then this will just be one brake hose onto there one bleed screw there and then um that'll be that i don't know maybe i will leave that with a bleed screw in it maybe we'll see uh but that's that um next step for this is to um give this a proper service it needs a bit of a clean uh, it's a bit gungy then I'll do a reassembly and then I can front that up to the the new 19 inch wheel has a 320 mil disc. Um, knock off the puny little WR caliper and build a bracket that's gonna um, attach that caliper to the side of there. And I've got a, um, a Brembo, uh, was it 13 millimeter um, master cylinder. So the 30 mil master cylinder combined with the uh, Extra surface area and the bigger piston surface area should should give me a bit of a braking advantage, especially with that 320mm disc. So there we go. That's what we're up to.